Hello fellow space engineers. I know everyone is hyped up about planets. Many of you want planets right away. Uh, particularly uh, Mad Mike, he's really excited about it and he's really hoping to get planets <laughs> this week. I do want to see planets. And maybe I may not be as hyped up as most of my friends. But I have to say I have been working in some designs that I wish to put to the test. And what we'll have to tie us over for now is DG's amazing mod Natural Gravity or the one with the modified gravity generators. Now I talked about my mission packages for the Calypso and how this lander box here is able to you know land and take off from a planet and I want to show you that today I know this thing to me it makes look like the Calypso is a scale model and that's the display base so it's kind of silly but not that silly because it's it's like the only shape that it can be so Okay, I'm not gonna keep you up. Uh, let's try facing downwards into the planetoid. Um, dive nose first at full speed, no inertia dampeners, and let's see if we can bring the ship to a halt before we crash. Now, I have to say that I have taken many, many things into consideration here. Not just the gravitational attraction but also in this design of the <clears throat> the planetary landing assist module what means is that even if you crash at high speed the landing gears are going to take the, the blunt then the thrusters and then the entire cage so in theory your ship shouldn't, uh, you shouldn't suffer from any damage you can only break your module. Okay, let's try not to crash right now. Bring it to a halt. And there you have it. safe and sound, at least the Calypso is safe and sound. Then you can do whatever you want. You can try to take off, you can try to repair the module. Actually, let's do that. Let's see how we fare if we try to take off again by just using our Calypso thrusters instead of the module thrusters. Let's detach First, inertia dampeners should be on. Let's see, on. Okay. Okay. Mission package module MPM. This is how you find it. The connector in the bottom. You need to, yeah, unlock it and then turn it off. It is off. And now the merge block. Mission package module npm again. Merge block bottom. Okay, let's get ready for this. Now. As you can see the Calypso cannot, you know, lift itself up on its own. What you can do is use all the thrust that you have from the main engines and your gyros to pull yourself up and off you go and we only destroy our cargo hold
and we'll drop in pieces. But we're off. So that was kind of like a stupid test. Now, you have to ponder. Is it worth it? What would happen if this happens to you? Like how badly are you willing to damage your ship just to get off the planet? Would you rather stay, build stuff, repair the systems and then do like an actual takeoff? Not the atrocity that I committed there? Would you have to outweigh you know, the resources that you have? Do we have enough resources? to repair the ship or maybe even if I damage the ship I'm gonna find more resources out in space so you risk the damage anyway that's like the worst case scenario test and now let me give you an ideal landing test the way it should be <laughs> okay Here we are again, and this time we're gonna do it professionally. Let's align ourselves on the right side of the planet so you can all see what's going on. We're gonna accelerate to it, inertia damper is off. And we're going to play this by the book. We're gonna keep paying close attention to the distance, although I'm just eyeballing it. Okay, we're gonna begin our rotation. And then our Retroborn. at a decent altitude and like a bit rotated there you go hmm. little light there okay as you can see we have plenty of space between us and the surface now you can deactivate dampeners and like maybe accelerate downwards a little once you're in here, you know, to fine tune it if you want to land faster. But ideally, you want to do the full retroborn and like kill your speed when you still have time, you know, to abort and take off again. So, to skim off the surface of the planet just by pressing spacebar and W, so moving forwards and upwards. If you do, I mean, like I did before previous test, you leave no room for error and you cannot do an abort and then try to have like a second attempt at landing. And that's in this like uh, atmosphere deprived planetoid. I don't know how the atmosphere is going to affect uh, the ships, if it's going to have drag, if it's going to have you know friction, if your ships are going to receive damage if entering too too fast or maybe at a too steep angle they're gonna start you know burning up but at this point we're just taking into account the gravitational attraction of the ships and the thrust provided by the engines that you install okay that was a perfectly safe landing now we can deploy whatever APC we have in there The ramp slowly opens, and while it while it opens, um, I want to tell you uh, some things to take into consideration. First of all, large thrusters in both small ships and large ships are a must if you want to have some type of like veto capability in planets. You can have like a large cluster of small thrusters, but at least in my experience, I have found out that these ones make more sense. They offer more trust. Yeah. 
think we need to change the angle of that ramp. Anyway, I'm going to do that and then I'm going to show you how to unload the APCs. Uh, okay, I was going to show you how to unload the APCs, but this game, it never stops surprising me with bugs. As much as I love it, as you can see, it's doing the whole gravity, placement, physics, whatever, doesn't do anything. Bug. Okay, there you have it. I can do the moonwalk. Oh. What is the moonwalk? Okay. Oh. <sighs> Come on. There you ah, well, kind of. Anyway. So the APCs from tires are clipping through. Although I deactivated the artificial mass and tires are not doing anything. No idea why. I have to say this is a new one, this didn't happen to me before. shouldn't be saying this but let's use magic that's like completely the opposite of any what well, any self-respecting science fiction fan would say but yeah let's use magic just like teleport the APC that was a bad idea or well, maybe my ramp is just too fat ideally what you wanna do is unload this why I don't have any traction okay that's good yeah it's fine perfect perfect so it doesn't like the whole armor surface Now, I know what you're going to say, I mean, this APC has a huge, huge bumper. That's intentional. It's not to run over aliens. It's to prevent the thing from going face first and then flipping completely. Okay. And the way you want to load it is reversing, that's why it has that ramp over there. Uh, you see our gigantic scale model on its display case, oh, sorry, display stand. And we're drifting. Like in Saudi Arabia or, you know, whatever they do with the whole drifting thing. Jesus. Okay, one thing to note. Um, If you land a ship in a planet like this, uh, it's going to be hard to conceal because it's not going to be loaded to ground, but at least you have a fortress. I mean, all of the turrets. Oh, here we go. Okay. <laughs> okay, all of the turrets have a clear angle, even the ones in the back, so you can defend yourself from attackers from the from the sky and also from ground vehicles to try to attack you with those turrets drifting uh, let's see if we can topple it yeah 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 go ahead whoa there you have it
let's check the center of mass. Should be in there, closer to the ground. Although this is a really high vehicle, be like top heavy. Um, yeah, maybe that's affecting it. Come on, roll over, roll over. Anyway, so you can see how slow the game turned just by watching the character moving in slow motion. Let's do the whole simulation speed thing. 0 0.48, 47. Uh, that's because the engine is calculating all the, you know, physics stuff going on the Calypso trying to sink through the asteroid and then me walking on the asteroid and the APC trying to fall into the asteroid too so um, I really hope they fix all this with the planets I know this is uh, not a fair comparison because technically this is just an asteroid with a gravity generator that affects you it's a great mod but to be fair I wouldn't compare it with the the whole planet's update that the devs are gonna make that's gonna be hopefully something completely new and not just using like a Digi's great work I know like I said before it's a good mod but as a mod it's great for showing things for showing possibilities but it's not perfect in the sense that uh, the game still has a lot to you know a lot to be fixed Let's add the artificial mass here while I do my whole rumbling. Let's get rid of the... Okay. No, it doesn't help in the drifting at all. So anyway, just wanted to make this video to show you the possibilities of landing on planets and how to integrate several ship designs or you know maybe modules that you have designed for your ships like I mentioned earlier I do want to see what kind of mission packages you can come up with and also leave you with a question do you think that it's going to be able to land these two ships in particular the military transporter and the military escort as they are in vanilla on a planet and I ask you this because the military escort already has ramps and already has landing gears as well as the uh, sorry the military transporter has ramps and landing gears and the military escort has landing gear a uh, tricycle landing gear so do you think that the devs are gonna balance out the whole gravity issue or do you think it's gonna be as strong as in Digi's mod that we are experiencing now so let me know your comments post your videos what do you think the gravity in planets is going to be besides the fact that you know what the devs already mentioned that it's gonna change depending on the distance that you're at and different planets are gonna have different gravi gravitational forces but we're talking about the relationship between thrust, escape velocities, if you want to call it like that, and the whole mass of the ships. And if the vanilla ships, like the, the, the red ship, for example, has also landing gears, do you think the devs intended for those to be landed right off the bat on a planet? Okay, that's all for now. Take care, and I hope to hear from you soon. Here so you can see that I'm not just making stuff up, the Calypso can actually take off from the planet using just the assistance of the module. Slowly but steadily it takes off. And then of course 
you can just do this. And we have liftoff.